Okay guys, so it's been a while, but it's time to finally get back into some ball bearing tests. Now, at the start of my channel, I did a series of videos where I took a pair of cheap $10 hybrid ceramic orange steel bearings from AliExpress and I put them in several different reels ranging from, you know, $99 all the way up to $400 plus dollars to see if these bearings would give those reels a casting performance increase. Now, if you want to see the results of all those tests, I've made a special ball bearing playlist if you want to go check that out. Some of the results were good, some of them were not so good, but yeah, they're all in the ball bearings playlist. Now, one thing I did realize was that all those reels that I tested were centrifugal brake reels. So this time around, we're going all magnetic and we're gonna go from, you know, your $99 bait caster all the way to the top to, you know, your 500 plus dollar bait casters. Now, the first test we're gonna start off with is gonna kill two birds with one stone. Now the first bird is going to be that the reel is going to be a 200 plus dollar reel. And the second bird is going to be that it's a Bay Finesse reel. So as you can see, the reel that we're gonna be using for this test is gonna be the Shimano Scorpion BFS. Now, a lot of people have been wanting me to do a ball bearing BFS test for the longest time. So we're finally getting around to it. Now, we're not just going to be using any old hybrid ceramic bearings for this test. We're actually going to be using hybrid ceramic micro bearings. And here they are right here. And as you can see, the balls inside these bearings are super small. And I'm going to stick a regular ball bearing right next to them just so you can see the size difference. And the size of these balls should greatly reduce the amount of inertia needed to get the spool moving. And that should pay dividends for BFS in particular. Speaking of BFS, let me show you the lures we're gonna be casting. Your standard 1 8 ounce little minnow. And then we got your true 1 16 ounce little crankbait. And if anything, out of these two baits, we should be seeing some pretty big result differences with this really, really lightweight 1 16th ounce lure. So if you've never seen one of my ball bearing tests, I go out on the field and I make, you know, several casts and record them using the stock bearings. And then I swap the bearings out inside my car or out wherever. And then I repeat the test and we compare the results. Now these bearings, because they have a red housing, they look pretty identical to the much more expensive Hedgehog Air BFS bearings that cost about $27. Now these bearings here are about, I believe, $13 to $15 on AliExpress. And uh, I don't know if there's really any difference between them. They probably are the same without the markup, but I could be wrong. Now, with this test, I'm gonna be using four pound mono. I'm gonna slap the Scorpion on a six foot five Major Craft Corza Ultralight, which is the standard rod I use for this test. And we're gonna be running these bearings dry. Now, I'm gonna try to learn two things from this test. That is, if the hybrid ceramic micro bearings actually give us a casting distance increase over stock. And the second thing I wanna to try to learn is that if they do give us a casting increase, will it be able to let the Scorpion match its more expensive older brother, the Shimano Aldebaran, which costs probably, you know, a good 50 to $70 more and has a much lighter spool. So that's really the uh, thing that I'm really interested in. But uh, I will see you guys out on the field.
Okay guys, so I am back from the field and before we get to these results, let's just recap the two things that we're trying to find out with this ball bearing test. And the first thing is that will these ceramic hybrid micro bearings give us a casting performance increase versus the stock spool bearings on the Scorpion BFS? And if they do, the second thing we're wanting to find out is if that performance increase will that equal or better the casting performance of the much more expensive lighter spooled Shimano Aldebaran. So with that being said, let's get to these results. Now we're going to start off with the 1 8 ounce minnow and I'm going to go ahead and put the numbers up on the screen for you and as you can see the micro bearings took the win here with an average of 87.16 feet versus 84.61 feet for the stock bearings. So you're looking at an average increase of about two and a half feet. Now let's get to the even more important lure, in my opinion, and this is where these micro bearings should shine, and that is the true 1 16th ounce little crankbait. And I'm gonna flash the numbers up for you. As you can see, the micro bearings also took the win over the stock bearings with this lure with an average of 65.03 feet versus 63.95 feet for the stockers. So you're looking at an average of 1.08 feet gain. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I was kind of disappointed in those numbers. Um, I will say this, that the castability or ease of casting did go up a little bit with both lures, but more noticeably in the 1 8 ounce lure. Now what did degrade was the casting smoothness and quietness. Now these bearings were ran dry and you can definitely hear them. And you can definitely feel them through this aluminum frame. You can feel that vibration even though these balls and these bearings are very small. So you do lose some smoothness and some quietness with these bearings and as you can see you don't gain that much performance. So with that being said, let's get to part two. And that is, did the performance increase with the micro bearings allow the Scorpion BFS to equal the performance of the much more expensive Aldebaran? And obviously the answer is no. And I'm gonna put up a uh, graphic for you showing you the numbers that the stock Aldebaran did doing the exact same test of probably about a year ago or a few months ago. As you can see, those distances that the Aldebaran put up were easily better than the modified Scorpion with the micro bearings. So it turns out that when it comes to casting distance and castability, the spool weight is gonna play much more of a factor than bearings when it comes to bait finesse. Okay guys, so I know a lot of you guys are probably shocked and surprised at these results. So let's go over the reasons why I think that these micro bearings really didn't give us that much of a performance increase over stock. Now, the first thing is that this is a JDM Shimano and JDM Shimanos come with these special bearings that have this dark coating on them that for some reason they just perform so well that you don't even need to upgrade them. And here's the stock bearings right there. As you can see, they are darker in the center. That's that coating. And also, these are micro bearings themselves, pretty much. Now I'm gonna put some stock spool bearings right on top of them. You can see that these Scorpion stock bearings are pretty much micro bearings from the factory, and that goes for the Aldebaran and the Conquest. So even spending the money on, you know, the Hedgehog Air BFS bearings, I don't think that really would have given us uh, any better results. And I say that because I put, uh, you know, the Shimano stock SARB bearings to the test up against some cheap ceramic hybrids from AliExpress as well as some, you know, $40 to $50 ceramic hybrids from Hedgehog Studios. And yeah, they equal or beat out those bearings easily. So yeah, going up to a uh, 
aftermarket bearing for pretty much any JDM Shimano, you're not really gonna get any kind of performance increase, particularly with these BFS reels that already come with these very small bearings already. So with that being said, guys, I do think that these micro ceramic hybrid bearings do have a place in the Bay Finesse world because not all BFS reels come with stock micro bearings like these Shimano's do. Now I think that these bearings, and I'm gonna show you guys a set of bearings that I got. They should help out, you know, these uh, AliExpress BFS reels like, you know, the GH100, Spirit Fox, PW100, etc., etc. And especially the reels that have the heavier spools like the uh, Suronoi XF50, you know, the Athlon that I just that I just tested. And they may even help out reels like this, the Abu Garcias, that do not come with micro bearings standard. And I may just put that theory to the test. As you can see, these look to be just standard spool bearings on this $300 plus dollar Revo. But that's gonna come later on this winter because I have a whole bunch of tests I gotta run and a lot of other videos I gotta make. Plus I'm moving and it's gonna take up a lot of my time. But I am definitely gonna be doing that with these bearings right here. But for this instance, it looks like upgrading bearings on a 200 plus dollar magnetic brake reel is really not gonna be worth it, at least in my opinion. All right guys, thanks a lot.